Welcome to the Money Watch Show. It's Tuesday, March 19th, and I am your host, Jill Schlesinger. I'm the CBS News business analyst. I'm also a certified financial planner. And guess what? I have a co-host, and his name is Mark Talercio. Hello, Mark. Hello, Jill. Happy first day of spring. Happy first day of spring to you. Mark is also a certified financial planner, and so that's kind of a fun thing. You know what I was wondering? I've got to figure out a way to get my cert CFP continuing ed in a much more fun way. I hate the way I've been doing it. If only this program and the Jill on Money program counted. I know. Well, you know, maybe we can do that. I was talking to the Compound Boys. By the way, we have a YouTube show called Jill on Money Powered by the Compound. And we were talking about this huge conference that they have called Future Proof. And I was thinking that if we could get continuing ed for going to that conference, how great would that be? This is what lawyers do all the time. You know, they go to these massive conferences and the only reason, not the only reason, I mean, people go because usually their bosses are paying for it. But another reason they go is you can bang out all of your continuing ed. Imagine, Mark, if we could do all of our continuing ed in Southern California over three days. That would be nice because this is the year that my continuing ed is due. I mean, and I would do it with you, even though I don't have, I have a whole nother year after this. We're on different cycles, but yes, I would love that so much. Anyway, this is the program that attempts to take the mystery out of your financial life. And we do that by encouraging you to go to our website. That is jillonmoney.com. Now, when you get to the website, what happens is we have a contact us button and that button will follow you wherever you go all over the website. So if you go to the video section, it'll follow you there. If you're on the blog, it will follow you there. Also on our website, you will have a lot of great information. The most important information you have for today that you need to know about is you can subscribe to our Jill on Money live service. This is our paywall. And it's a very low paywall, ladies and gentlemen, $35. Why is today so important? Because if you subscribe to Jill on Money Live today by 1 p.m., you will be able to join us this evening for one of our quarterly live webinars. And the webinar is with the one, the only Cal Newport. And why do I love this guy? Yes, he's had other um, books that have come out called Digital Minimalism and Deep Work, but he's also been a real beacon of sanity for me and for Mark. Mark, what was the thing where you where Cal said something and it just changed your life? Well, there was a point in time where I, it really bothered me if I didn't respond to all the emails that uh, we received. And then I just got, you know, at, at a certain point, we were receiving too many. I just couldn't do it. And he just basically said, you know, you just have to set expectations and let them know that you're not going to be able to get back to everybody. And that's just kind of the way it is. And take yourself off the hook. And I loved that. And um, he did the same thing with me that he said, you know, sometimes when you go out and you walk with your dog, it's really okay not to check your email 16 times while you're on that walk because nothing's really going to change. And he said, you know, you know when you have to be available. And I said, yeah. And there's almost this weird habit that you form. And it's not a good one either. So Cal's newest book is called Slow Productivity, The Lost Art of Accomplishment Without burnout. And I'm so excited because Cal's going to be joining us tonight for Jill on Money Live. So again, you've got to subscribe to the service. And for $35, you join us tonight. There's three more quarterly webinars after that. You get to watch last year's webinars and you also get the special video content that lives behind the paywall. So you should check that out. It's great. It's all on the jillonmoney.com website. Okay, Mark, let me tell you how how I felt when I saw a headline in a prominent financial um, newspaper, the Wall Street Journal, which essentially was total clickbait. And I did click on it. And the clickbait was something like Americans using their 401ks like ATMs. And I was like, is that really what's happening? So I clicked on it and it was interesting because, of course, what is buried deep in this report is that there's actually good news. Can you imagine? So here's the here's the 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 thought process. Uh, We'll put a headline out about this terrible news and maybe someone will read to the 18th paragraph where there's the good news. Now, I want to kind of flip that on its head. 
I do think that there are more people who are dipping into their retirement accounts. Okay. I get that. Part of that has to do with rules that have eased over time. But I wanted to talk about this on CBS Mornings because I felt like it's such a provocative headline and people are going to see this and it's going to get reprinted. And I don't know, it just felt it didn't sit well with me. So what I would like to do, Mark, if you don't mind, is I would like to air this segment. We were on last week with Gail King, Vladimir Dutier, who was in for Nate Burleson and Tony DeCopel. And I sat at the desk and we talked about this this article, but really it was based on the report. And this was a report out from Vanguard. How about this? Let's air it. And then on the other side of it, we'll talk a little bit more about what's what we think is actually going on behind the, the headlines. Okay. See you in a couple minutes. In today's Money Watch, a new report finds that more Americans are dipping into their 401k retirement savings early. A record number of people took money from their retirement accounts in 2022 and 2023. That's according to the investment company Vanguard. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here with more. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. So why are people doing this? Well, you know, we have to understand that you could always take money out of your retirement accounts. And by law, it is for a hardship. What's a hardship? It's foreclosure. You can't meet your rent. It's medical expenses, funeral expenses. These are the kinds of things that would motivate you to go into that very sacred account. Now, in this particular survey, we also know that over the last couple of years, inflation is up. And so that has actually put a lot of pressure on households. And by the way, the rules have eased on taking money out of these accounts. Mm -hmm. And that has actually allowed people to go in, grab the money, pay off whatever debt is accumulated or meet their bills and move on. So what's the impact or consequences of taking it out? Why are you so against it? Okay, okay, because it's really hard to save for retirement. Let's be honest. And you work really hard to get that money in. You know, before 2018, the real the rules really forced you to take a loan instead of a withdrawal. And here's the problem with a withdrawal. You take the money out. It is taxed at whatever tax bracket you're at. So whatever you take out, that's going to be taxed. It hasn't been taxed yet. Right. If you're under age 59 and a half, there's an additional 10 percent whack of a penalty. This is a double tax whammy. Mm. Also, it's really hard once you get that money out to get it back in. So here's something that's interesting, Mark. You know, first of all, when we look at the number of people who are dipping into retirement, the numbers have increased, right? The number of people, according to Vanguard, taking early withdrawals, 3.6% of the participants. That is up from a pre-pandemic average of 2%. But you know what's interesting? About three quarters of those distributions were $5,000 or less. That does not seem like plundering. I mean, yeah, I get it. There, there are rules that are um, that have been relaxed. You know, this is the Secure Act and tax laws and the Secure Act. But like before 2018, you had to take a loan before you could take a hardship distribution. Now you can go straight to hardship distribution. So, what do you think about 3.6 versus two? Should we be worried about this, Mark? No, when you say that, see, my mind automatically goes to the other 90 something percent of people who are not rate in their retirement accounts. Yeah, exactly right. And uh, by the way, you know, one thing that we, I didn't actually say, but the average retirement account balance in 2018 was about 92 grand. And now it's 112 grand. That, that part actually scares me more than the other part of the story. All right. But okay. But that's only because it's average. That's not median. You know, it has a lot of other things. So, Should you take money out of your retirement account? That's really the big question that people have. And I think the answer is that although you're allowed to do it, it should be your last resort. It really should be. Also, Mark, on our beautiful Ed Slot chart, he's got a Secure Act 2.0. And there are some new rules that are actually going into effect this year. Can I tell you about those? Please do. You're going to like this. So Secure Act 2.0 was signed into law uh, late December of 2022. A lot of different retirement plan stuff in the Secure Act. But specifically, starting this year in 2024, IRA and 401k account owners can take one withdrawal per year up to $1,000 from their accounts to pay for an emergency expense and not pay the penalty. What do you think? You want to do it or not? 
I, I, I mean, no, I don't want to do it, but I, I mean, you know, they're just, they're just creating these options now for people. I, it's, it's like, once you open that box, it's not good. By the way, you have the option to repay the distribution within three years, which you don't have, you didn't have prior. The option. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's the problem. You're not getting the money back in the account. Okay. Some other exemptions, um, domestic abuse victims can, uh, Re- withdraw ten thousand dollars or fifty percent of the present value, and if you live in a federally declared natural disaster area, you can grab twenty two grand. All right, so I guess here's the thing: I don't really like these plans. Remember when Teresa Ghirladucci, one of our favorite guests, came on and we were talking about retirement? And if you recall, Mark, she said she believed that we should ban withdrawals from retirement accounts. Her rationale for why this is a terrible idea is that, again, most people take money out of their accounts. They're paying the tax that's due. Often we're paying, they're paying the 10% penalty because they're under the age of 59 and a half. And I get it, emergencies happen, but there are often other ways to do this. And um, mostly what I worry about is they're not going to get the money back in the account. And it's really hard to make up for that lost ground of paying the tax it's due and the penalty. It's tough. So I think she might be right. Her argument, if I recall, was that, you know, with pension plans, you're not allowed to borrow against it, even though you're putting your own money into a pension plan. So what's the difference? I think we've moved in the wrong direction on it myself. So if you are worried about your retirement plan, And you're worried about, well, should I take money out? Should I not? Should I maintain it? Should I have other debt? You know, gee, maybe I should. This was the other thing that people said. Oh, I'd rather pull money out of my retirement account than pay the interest on um, a home mortgage. Well, when you factor in all the tax and the penalty may not be the greatest thing in the world. So maybe if you've got a problem and you're facing a, a dire choice, We'd love to hear from you first. I don't want you to go into your retirement. I feel like our people don't really go into retirement accounts. Do you? Our listeners? No, no no way. No chance. No, jillionaires don't do such a thing. All right. If you've got a question, we'd love to hear from you. Just go to jillonmoney.com, click the contact us button. Don't forget to sign up for the free weekly newsletter. And yes, come on, get on it. Join us, Cal Newport, tonight. It's going to be great. Mark Talercio is our co-host and executive producer. He's also the king of all things web. We are distributed by Paramount Global. We drop our episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. If you would not mind, please leave us a rating and review wherever you listen. And uh, try to do something nice for someone else today. They're going to appreciate it, and so will you. You're going to feel great. Change your work, change your wealth, change your life. Thank you for listening. We'll talk to you on Thursday.